Hello friends, Joe Patitucci from Data Garden here, and uh, I'm here to show you how to use the new MIDI Sprout for Mac app that we just released. So right here is everything that comes with uh, MIDI Sprout for iPhone. And uh, if you don't have MIDI Sprout for iPhone and you just have the regular MIDI Sprout, totally cool. You can still use the app. You just need one extra cable. I'll tell you about that in a bit. Uh, but here we have the MIDI Sprout. We have the iConnectivity cable. Uh, this can be used to connect the MIDI Sprout to an iPhone, and it also has an attachment that allows you to connect it to uh, a computer via USB. Uh, then we have our uh, electrode pads. These pads, uh, sticky pads, they go on the plant leaves. Uh, these are great for longer term use on plants as well. Uh, the philodendron behind me has been uh, playing plant music for more than a year using the same pads been connected to a MIDI sprout for a full year. So it's pretty amazing. Uh, these are the electrodes that you connect the sticky pads to. On the newer version of MIDI sprout, the latest, uh, the one in that came out in August 2018, we also include these uh, alligator clips uh, that can be used for smaller plants or say you want to switch from one plant to another pretty quickly. These are really handy. Uh, they're not intended for use uh, for like for longer term use on on plants, so I wouldn't leave them on for more than like a few minutes at a time. Uh, yeah, so like I said, the MIDI Sprout for iPhone comes with this uh, the eye connectivity cable. There's another cable out there on the market that um, that just works for USB for laptops and not for iPhones. Uh, I'll have a link uh, to that below this video so you can grab that. It's like 30 bucks, uh, whereas the iConnectivity cable is like 60. So just head over to our website to the instructions, midisprout.com slash instructions. You'll find the instructions for this. Uh, you can download the MIDI Sprout app uh, and there it is. Just grab that. Now we're gonna go into our downloads. We got the uh, zip file and we got the app right here. So it's really important to actually right click on this to open it because uh, since this is in beta, uh, sometimes, you know, when you're getting a web application, you have to do that. So just right click on it and it's going to ask you if you're sure you want to open it. And I'm pretty sure you want to open it. I want to open it. I'm going to listen to this plan. So there we go. We got our MIDI Sprout app open now and we'll just make this full screen. As you can see, it's basically the same as the MIDI Sprout app, although it actually does have this really cool feature where you can put it into a, a different key. You can put it into 432, um, and uh, we're going to expand on that, of course. Cool. So let's start out. we got our MIDI Sprout here. We're going to connect our MIDI Sprout to our eye connectivity cable, or if you have that EMU cable that I, I just mentioned, uh, you can use that as well. Um, and then we connect the cable to the extender that has the USB plug on it. And then we're going to plug that into the USB on our laptop or desktop or whatever it is. And now we have our electrodes. Let's get these out. These are the electrode pads. They have a little piece of plastic here too. Um, so just make sure you don't lose that. I like to take the electrode pads out and connect them to the electrode leads before I put them on the plant. And the reason I do that is these are snap-ons. And if I put the electrode pads on first and then snapped these leads on, that could hurt the plant. So we wanna take care of our friends here. So I always, I always snap these on first. Uh, then you can just take these and put them on your plant. It's also best that you clean your plant before you do this because sometimes plants have a gel on them that you know maybe the nursery put on them to keep uh, keep disease and other things away. But uh, it's best that you actually just clean your plant a little bit, just some soap and water. I always put that little plastic thing back in here so I don't lose it. All right, so now we are all hooked up and now we have our 
MIDI sprout. I'm gonna connect this right there into the front of our MIDI sprout. And then it's just a matter of turning this knob. So I'm gonna tell you a little secret about this knob. It's not just an on off knob. It's also a sensitivity knob. And uh, what that means is when you turn your MIDI sprout on, like right when you feel the click, that's when your MIDI sprout's most sensitive. And then as you turn the knob farther, it's less sensitive. So you won't get as, uh, as much of a signal. Uh, the reason that's useful is some people like to use this like on their bodies or like in a group experience where everybody's holding hands and you want to hear the connection around the room. Uh, if you're doing that, then you'd want to turn the knob all the way. Uh, but when I'm using it with plants, I just like click it. So we'll check this out. Here we go. I'm going to click and then you're going to see the app light up. So let's check this out and let's listen. So there you have it. We have our MIDI sprout connected to a plant and we're listening to it on a computer. So really excited to see what, uh, what you come up with or what your findings are as you're listening to plants. Um, it's a lot of fun to see what everybody's doing out there. You can see what other users are doing by checking out our Instagram and uh, check out our Instagram and then also check out the hashtag MIDI sprout uh, lots of folks using the MIDI Sprout in really fun and interesting ways. We're really looking forward to seeing how you use it. And uh, please follow us here on our YouTube channel. Uh, and uh, we'll be sharing more tutorials and other fun use cases for your device. So thanks so much. We'll catch you soon.